Okay, so this video will be still on ring homomorphisms. And now we are going to get a new theorem. Homomorphism from Z to a ring with unity. So let R be a ring with unity E. So this is the identity, okay? E is the identity. The mapping phi from Z to R, R the ring, given by N and taking N into <coughs> into n identity is a ring homomorphism okay this is more or less obvious right but do not forget we are taking from the from the integers into a ring but a special ring a ring with unity okay uh I'm going to do the, the, the proof for this one, okay? On this set of videos, I still did not make any proof, so I'll make a proof for the, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the proof for this one. Okay, so a, we have a, a homomorphism from the integers to a ring with unity, okay? So here we have the integers and here we have a ring uh, with a uh, unity, a multiplicative unity, of course. Okay. Okay, so we are taking M and N to arbitrary integers. Okay. So first we have to show that the addition is preserved. Okay. And in order to show that the, the, the addition is preserved, we have to so either m and n are both greater than zero or one is bigger and the other is negative or they are both negative right okay so where should we start at the start here, okay, this is the, the, the easiest one. Okay, so phi of m plus n will be, so this is n identity, right? So it will be n plus n uh, identity, meaning, so this will be identity plus identity plus plus identity, where we are going to get m plus n uh, Siemens, okay? Okay, so basically we will have identity plus identity m times, and then this will be add to identity plus identity n times. So this will be equal to um, m times the identity plus n times n times the identity okay so what is this this is nothing else than phi of m plus phi of n okay so addition is preserved checked checked for both positive right okay what about if one is positive and the other, let us say this one is positive and this one is negative. Okay, so that will be, okay, let's put in a different color here. M is positive and N is negative, right? Okay, what will phi of M plus N will be? That will be M plus N times the identity um, uh, okay oh, wait wait a sec let's do first sorry 
let us do first the let us do both negative first. I think this is quicker. M is negative and N is negative too. Because it's so similar to this one. Okay. Phi of M plus N, they are both negative. Okay. So that will be M plus N times the identity. Like here, it's the same. But this time m will be minus m minus n okay um, so n minus the identity right so this this will be minus m uh, minus identity plus minus n minus identity and this will be m identity plus n identity and that will be phi of m plus phi of n so if they are both negative we also have addition preservation okay what about now they both being of opposite signs so meaning for instance if m is greater or equal to 0 and n negative so phi of m plus n is going to be what is going to be n plus n times the identity so we will have e plus plus E M times um, oh but N now is negative so let us put this minus immediately here and we'll have E the identity um, N times N times or minus N times as you wish and this will be so m times the identity plus plus minus n times minus the identity so this will be m identity plus n identity and this is phi of m plus phi of n okay so phi preserves addition here too. Okay, what about um, what about uh, multiplication? The multiplication is more or less the same. It can be handled. It's more or less the same. Okay, um, you can check that um, uh, phi of m a and b equals I'm not going to, to do all this but this will be without the fee sorry m m m a times n b will be equal to m n times a b for all integers m and n so phi of m n will be m n identity and that is m n identity identity pretty easy right and this will be m identity n identity and that will be phi of m times phi of m okay so phi preserves multiplication too okay and this concludes the the proof so we just proved that if R is a ring with unity, the mapping from the integers to a ring with unity given by this n times the, the identity is a ring homomorphism.